Download the free BBC iPlayer app to watch every episode of The Next Step now. As a male dancer, it seems very intimidating, especially at a younger age when, for example, when I was in high school, I was the only male in a dance class full of women, right? So it was, it was one of those where sometimes people would be like, ah, oh, why are you dancing? It, it makes you look like this or that or this or that. And it was one of those where I had to switch my thinking of, it doesn't matter what they say because I'm enjoying myself. Well, of course, uh, being a male dancer, sometimes you can get poked fun at, but I don't know, I think it's just presenting your, your, yourself in the, in the right way and being confident and who really cares what anybody thinks, right? I definitely got comments growing up about, oh, like you dance, whatever. But if you enjoy it and you love it, then you shouldn't let anybody take away from it. Growing up as a male dancer in this industry, um, it's hard for most guys. I, I, I will say that, it is hard for most guys. Personally, for me, I'm, I'm very thankful that I didn't, I didn't really go through any of that bullying and any of that stuff. Um, I had an older sister, so it really helped that she was in the dance scene. And when guys my age would try to like bring me down because I danced, I, I always brushed it off. It never really affected me because at the end of the day, after school, after a long day of math in grade four, I would go dance with 30 girls at my studio while the guys who were making fun of me were going home and doing their homework, you know? So I just, I kind of just flipped the narrative. I, I never really thought of it as being bullied and I didn't let that affect me. I was doing what I loved and I was having fun doing it. Do you love the next step as much as I do? Well, download the free BBC iPlayer app now and you can watch full episodes of the next step whenever you like. What are you waiting for? I think insecurity and confidence and all that is definitely a big topic within the dance space. It's always easy to say just do it no matter what, but it's obviously a lot easier said than done. Um, I consider myself to be a pretty confident person and even then there's always times where you can kind of feel insecure. Like everybody's human no matter what you see on social media or performances or whatever the case may be. So I would say take a lot of that with a grain of salt. Well, dance has always been uh, the thing that has kept me grounded and has always been my rock. Anytime I'm feeling down or upset or lonely or anything, pop in some headphones and just freestyle for a bit and, until I feel like I've, I've danced it all out. I was in like 12, 13 years old and that's when I was like really into dance. I would go to my old school, which is like middle school, and I would be talking about dance and talking about how much I enjoy doing it. And then I just really, just the vibes from what I was telling others, which wasn't really positive. It was more negative, asking like, why would I do dance? Like, why you should do that instead of playing soccer or playing sports? And that kind of mindset and just that kind of negative energy, it really got me thinking like, wow, maybe I shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. Maybe I should quit. Maybe I should play basketball and do what all the other guys do. But I'm just so thankful I had my mom with me, behind my back, my family, and even just the people that dance, just telling me to keep on going and giving me positive energy. Talk to somebody about it. Um, make, make somebody aware of what's going on, for sure. Um, but uh, how I dealt with it was just uh, staying focused. Like, I was, like what, uh, if, if something like that was going on in the studio, I'd be there to just dance. And just I would just stay focused on that. Whenever I was ever being distracted by any nonsense, I just put my headphones on and just get in the zone and just, even just like sit there and just like, just head bop, just like, just feel the music, put on a happy song or whatever. And another thing would be, uh, just be really aware of your environment. And if you are in a place where you do feel judged, judged or insecure about the way others are looking at you or anything in that respect, I would say that's definitely not the place you wanna be. Um, and that's, and that, that doesn't just apply to dance, that applies to all, kind, all kinds of uh, things. I would say try and find a place where you can just truly just be confident within your own skin. And I think if you get to that point, that's like a really great place to be. I really want you to do what makes you happy. And as much as, you know, the other people can be 
annoying and frustrating and, and sometimes it could get to you and I, I fully understand that, you have to remember that you are left with you at the end of the day. So regardless of what people say, goes for anything outside of dance and in dance, make sure that you do what's best for you and you do what makes you feel good. If you have a passion, just like, just go for it. Like the worst that happens is that like, there's obviously, no matter what you do, there's gonna be people who like hate on you for it or like say no, like, you just have to be able to face rejection and like face negativity. But if you love something, just do it. Like, I know people who've like started dancing, like usually when, when you're in like the industry, like you start younger and then you grow into it. But I know people who are like really successful when they started at like 20. So it really doesn't matter like what you look like, what age, like it, it just doesn't matter, just do it. I feel like every dancer has their own path into the industry or just enjoying dance in general. Some people go through studios some people just are self-trained their whole lives. And actually, I think this show does a, a really good job of showcasing uh, a lot of different dancers' paths into, into dance. So one thing I would say, if you are dancing and you are receiving negative energy from other people, just keep on going, keep on believing in yourself, because in the end, you're gonna be so thankful that you kept on going. Don't think about the short, don't think about the short term. Think about the long way. Keep on going, I'm telling you. Don't give up, just keep on working on it. If you ever feel like you don't know how to get started or you're not comfortable, what I always tell my students, um, even with like freestyle or whatever, just get yourself in front of a mirror, do what you think looks good. Um, it doesn't have to be crazy, you don't have to be popping off or doing like crazy hard movements or fast, none of this. Just like get in front of a mirror and just whatever feels good and looks good to you, it probably looks good to others. Dance is for everyone and anyone. You can dance at any time, anywhere, any place. You can never be wrong. And I think that's the beautiful thing about dance. Yes, it gets tough, it gets hard. There's gonna be people that are better than you at doing the thing that you really wanna get to. That it's, that's just the way of life. But if you focus and you keep working at it, I promise you, you will achieve the goal because anything is possible when it comes to dance and that's why I love it so much. That video was epic. And I tell you what's even more epic, that you can watch full episodes of The Next Step on the BBC iPlayer app. Download it now.